new at six about tiny nocturnal mammals that are at grave risk here in Colorado. We rarely see them, but bats do so much good for our environment. And a fungus is causing many of Colorado's bats to die. This summer marks the first time wildlife officers here in Colorado have noticed white nose fungus. The fungus has been spreading across the country for years, killing bats at an alarming rate. Populations in some places have plummeted by 90%. Our Mountain Newsroom reporter Spencer Wilson traveled to one of the spots where wildlife officers found that fungus and shows us how it's killing our bats. In Fort Collins, an old water treatment facility is home to hundreds of mama bats and their babies. But their excrement, called guano, just tested positive for a fungus known for destroying colonies. It's a mouthful. It's a pseudogymnoascus destructans. I always try to be an optimist, but there's nothing about finding this fungus in Colorado that makes me feel optimistic. Our bat researchers have the data from the East Coast, where the fungus has been for years. What they see is um, dramatic declines in their bat populations. So that is what we expect. Bats normally start to drop two or three years after researchers find the fungus, so the worst is yet to come. And you'll notice the difference if we lose our bats. Buggy. There's going to be a lot more bugs. Uh, that would be the primary <laughs> primary thing that we will notice. And it's it's in the billions of dollars every year of bats are eating those pests and it's helping our agriculture. So how does the fungus kill the bats? Here's how it works in Colorado. Our bats hibernate in the winter and in that hibernation period, they get the white nose fungus either on their nose or on their wings as well. And that fungus is itchy. And so when they're scratching at it, they're waking up, expending energy they don't have, essentially starving them to death during the winter. Years ago, if you would have asked what's the most common mammal potentially, a common bat certainly uh, in the state, it would be a little brown bat. But as the disease moves in, uh, this could potentially uh, make that not true anymore. It's not all doom and gloom though. Researchers are looking into ways to help the bats survive the infection and there's progress. Plus our zoologists say our Colorado bats might just do better against it compared to the other bats around the country. Even though they're the same species, they do uh, behave differently and so that could help them. Um, we're hopeful that that will. Spencer Wilson covering Colorado first. And in Greeley relative